beautiful morning today, guys. Getting out here at sunrise. See if we can find some trout, maybe some drum, maybe even some striper. Let's do it. All right, y'all. So we're gonna start out in the back uh, part of the, where we're fishing at. Just gonna fish some grass line. Buddy might caught a nice redfish here. So let's see if we can find some, uh, some quality fish up against these grasses. After that, we're gonna go hit the bridges. So and all the drop offs and stuff in the channel. Let's go find some fish. Also today, I picked up some trout stick by Z-Man. Um, this is the pumpkin with the chartreuse tail. We're gonna give these a try. See if we can uh, put some fish in the boat. Y'all, like I said, we're gonna be throwing these fish sticks, pump, uh, pumpkin with the chartreuse tail. All you gotta do, rig it up. I already caught two trout. Forgot to turn the camera on, but they had no size. And uh, add a little bit of pro cure. That's the magic right there. It works because first cast I caught a little dink trout, so at least I know fish are looking at it. Y'all, so how you fish this? Just cast it out. Let it sink to the bottom. Once your line. Uh, stops being tight, goes slack, you know you're on the bottom, you're just gonna reel it up t so it's kinda tight, jig it up twice, let it drop, jig it up twice, let it drop, oh, oh, I just got a hit, small fish though. Forgot to record, these fish are so small. Oh buddy, relax. Oh yeah, and for anybody wondering um, how hard it is to stand up in the hoodoo, let me just show you. We're in 13 and a half feet of water, and I'm up, and I'm fishing. All right, wanna sit back down? Just bend your knees, sit back down. Super easy, just so everybody knows. I know people have been asking me. All right, nice, about 17 inches. Not as fat as I would have hoped, but nice fish. Gonna let him go. Bye, buddy. There he goes. You guys. I've only been out actually fishing this bridge for like maybe 10 minutes. I've caught about four or five fish. I know I only recorded like two. Forgot to. I was talking to some fishermen over there. But um, I'll tell you this much. No one's been catching anything all morning. And I've literally came here for 10 minutes and I'm catching them on the trout stick. So I'm sold on them. So uh, let's go see. Find, try and find some more fish. This is why I hate ribbon fish. They cut you clean off. Felt a little thump and no more lure. So trying to move from this area because I hate ribbon fish. Well, I didn't move spots, I lied, and I'm happy I didn't because, oh, and another like 12, 12 inch trout maybe, but hey, we know that the fish sticks are working, beautiful fish, he barely, oh, it's out of there, alright, it's barking at me, bye buddy. Oh, big fish, big fish. Oh, oh, it's a red. Never mind. <laughs> Thought it was a big trout, but it's just a small red. I got excited. All right, let's get him in the, in the boat. All right, buddy. All right, all right. <laughs> Thought it was a nice fish. These reds fight so good. Such a fun fish to catch. A little red, 15, 16 maybe, but hell of a fight. So now we know the fish sticks catches all species. <laughs> oh, little speck. Little, like 11 incher. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, some. Oh, I spit it. What? Uh, no, not that big. Swim this fish on already. Where the fuck is my neck? Excuse me for my language. Today's been up and going well. There we go, another nice fish. Probably about 18. 
Not keeping the meat. Oh, look at those battle scars he's got on him. Pretty healed over now. Got him on both sides. Something got him good, but he deserves to live today. Here you go, buddy. There he goes. Fish sticks are my new favorite uh, soft plastic right now for fall fishing for tr speckled trout. I apologize in advance for my language on that last fish. Um, I'm using a really crappy reel um, with my uh, Berkeley Lightning uh, amp rod. And uh, that's because my oyster uh, toadfish, my toadfish rod uh, wound up snapping. And so I'm really, really pissed off about that. I did a cast and I guess it got tangled around the eye loop and just snapped the whole tip of the rod off. Sitting back there with my good reel on it and I'm, I'm pretty uh, infuriated right now. What we got? Oh, another nice trout. Getting close to our limit today. Cannot complain. All right, relax. We're gonna get some all tangled up. This is a nicer trout. Measure him up just to see. He's about 16 and a half. Not bad. He, looks, he actually looks bigger than the uh, 17 and a half we caught earlier. Yesterday, actually. Bye, buddy. These are nice eat eating size fish. I'm just out here testing out this new bait. And uh, trying to find these uh, big fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, sea bass. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, I know. I noticed that. There's like four inches. <laughs> I don't, I'm not that near. I don't want to deal with it. They're beautiful fish. Look at that thing. Man, I wish, I wish they uh, were a little bigger back here because this would be delicious to eat. One of my favorite fish, especially from Long Island. It's a nice size uh, black sea bass. So, especially for back here, like I was just telling telling him, they're usually like four inches. So, bye, buddy. Toward me, and it's tiny. Oh, it's a monster. All right, all right. That was not. I just missed a huge one before this fish hit. Like it hit like three or four times, and like like it was like instant. Like no. Oh man, I thought I got it, but I didn't. Just this little guy this time. All right, better fish. Better fish. Hopefully, it's not. I don't see shine. I hope it's not. Oh yeah, nice fish. Alright, there's a keeper. Nothing crazy. Yeah. And of course I make a mess by reeling it all the way up to the tip. Really hoping it wasn't a ribbon. <laughs> Already all in conclusion, this stuff is the bomb. The Z-Man uh, trout sticks. I'm going to keep using them. I'm going to go pick up a few more packs on my way home. I had a great day, caught a bunch of fish. Nothing crazy, but it was still nighttime on the water. Can't be. Can't be.